Good afternoon, everybody. So today we are going to go for a walk. It is the day of the new moon. Sorry, it's a little dark in here. I'm in the um, by the bathroom getting my uh, walking bag. It is the day of the new moon, and I have been called to go for a walk down to the park. Um, I'm going to get a couple things. I'll show you how I do my offerings. So I have this tray um, right here. Just sitting right here. It's a old candle holder that I got from the thrift store. It I used the candle already, so I just grab usually just something soda light on whatever I feel drawn to. This is a piece of uh, green opal. Um, sorry, my fingers black from my pipe. Uh, green opal from. Uh, African green opal that I tumbled myself. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take these two, put those in my bag. My bag already has, uh, well, let me just show you what my bag already has in it. So my bag has got a glove. Um, oh, there's a lighter that I was missing. So lighter in there. So in here, I've got some tissues, I've got some plastic bags, I've got a knife, and an old bottle of water. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, but I always have plastic bags, you know, for trash. And... I'm also going to take a couple of these little bags right here, just in case I find some things. I mean, I'm always finding, I'm hoping to um, find some feathers. So actually, let's do a thing right here. So this is what I did last time. Spirit guides, ancestors, god, goddess, fairies, fae, spirit messengers, and spirit guides. I am going for a walk. Uh, down to the park and I would like you to send me a feather a blue feather or a black feather or a white feather um, for confirmation that you are near and that you are guiding me uh, as I've been having dreams lately last night I've had I, I, past few nights I've been having really very very symbolic dreams um, that are very easy to kind of interpret, but um, people visiting, ancestors visiting me in dreams. So just confirmation that you you acknowledge that you know that you were there and that we talked. Uh, yeah, so let's get going, and I'll show you guys what where we go. All right, I got all my offerings. I've got my tarot cards, so let's go. And it's hot out today too, but I need a good workout right now. It's kind of cloudy out today. Kind of perfect. So let's go. Okay, I'm down here on the back road. I just want to show you, look. All these hostas in bloom. Aren't they so freaking pretty? And some daylilies. Those hostas are so pretty. And this, uh, I think it's a cherry tree, maybe. I love the summer flowers in this area, or this part of the country. This is a mulberry, I believe. Probably not. I ID'd that before, I just can't remember. Got some phlox. Oh look, there's a groundhog over there. Oh, he ran back into the overbrush. Um, 
I just love the diversity of the plants in this area. So let me get down to the park. All right, you guys, I just walked into the park and look what I find. Remember how I asked for a black and white feather? A black or white feather? Look. Feather number one. I'm telling you guys, uh, if you, you, you may feel crazy talking to yourself, but I promise you, somebody's listening. Somebody's listening and somebody is guiding you through your intuitions, through your urges, through your, you know, like sometime you may feel like, oh, I want to paint today out of the blue or I want to dance or, or, or anything that you just feel the urge to do. That is somebody guiding you through that message. Like, listen to it. If you really follow that inner voice, you'll never stray into harm's way. Um, because it will also alert you to harm and to danger. So, you know, just, that's just proof right there that if you, if you speak loud and you really, um, believe in this stuff, it, it's, it gives you proof that it's a, it's there, that it's all, we're all connected to it. I mean, we're like, we're made of the same stuff as everything else. Why wouldn't we be connected? And... You know, of course, uh, we were taught that we weren't powerful. Of course that we were taught we weren't connected. Of course we were taught that stuff because you become more powerful. You become harder to control when you know these things about yourself. When you know that these things are true. Um, and I've known that I've, I've just always had an in, innate knowing that things this things of this nature were true I've never ever faltered in my belief of that because I've always had proof and I've always been okay I've always had proof of it uh, being real and I've ha always had proof of the connection and the connection you find that connection within yourself nobody can give it to you nobody can sell it to you no amount of money can get it for you. The only way you can get it and re is just to realize it. Is just to follow the inner guidance that is that's within you. You know, stop listening to other people uh, how you should live your life. Stop listening to anyone telling you who you should be, what you should be doing, how you should be doing it. If you don't want to do it that way, don't do it that way. Whatever you want to do, do it. And I promise you, it's the way to live. I've always lived this way and I've always been okay. Even though I don't have, I've, you know, I don't have a standard job. I don't blah, blah, blah. I don't live my life like people in society think I should be. And I'm shunned. I'll tell you, I've been, I'm, I'm a shunned individual. <laughs> at least where I'm at, you know. But you know what? I don't let that get me down. I don't let that stop me from going on walks. I don't let that stop me from doing things because, you know, people are going to misunderstand me and that's okay. It's not my job to make every single person I come across get me and understand me and, and think like me and do things like me. Like, you know, like that video is about the video I did the other day about the, uh, the natives the native schools and all that. A few people um, had the had the questions or the comments of, you know, now I, I feel like I have to, like, what do I do from there? What do I do from that point of knowing, you know? Um, what you really need to do is just learn the history, acknowledge the pain that it has been passed down. There's nothing you really have to physically do. It's just open your heart to your empathy. Think of yourself in that situation and then get mad and do something. Help help do something about it. You know, stand for people who are whose voices are ignored. But you guys, I'm going to look around some more because my phone is getting low and I don't want it to die. So if I find any more feathers, I'm going to let y'all know. 
now it's a race to get home because look there's a big old thunderstorm moving in uh, and I don't want to be out here in a big old thunderstorm it sucks because I really wanted to hang out down here oh that's okay so you can hear the thunder Yeah, I don't want to be out here when it's lightning and stuff. So, I'm going to get my butt back up to the house. But we'll pull a card up at the house. Don't you guys worry.